saw you sleeping this morning. Yes, I did. I saw you sleeping. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you ready for breakfast? All right, I'm gonna feed the horses breakfast. This is electrolytes. I'm gonna encourage them to drink. This is kind of like, I think a coconut oil that just helps their gut, it coats their gut to avoid ulcers. Tie his gate shut at night so he can't push it open. Turns out the horses actually do like their slow feeders. They just like them not in the trailer. But I noticed when they're in the pens, I think the slow feeders kind of mimic natural grazing, like having to fight for your food, and I also think it mentally stimulates them. This is our last full day at this particular camp on the Greenbrier River Trail in West Virginia. We thought we'd treat ourselves a little bit, and there's like a village a few miles down the trail where they have like a restaurant where you can get lunch. And we've been living pretty primitively and cooking our own food and not eating out because there's nowhere to eat out around here. So today we thought we're gonna take the horses into town and get ourselves lunch. It's about 7.30 right now, so we're gonna leave at 10 and it should take us maybe like an hour and a half to get to town. We have a map of the area here. So yesterday I took my mountain bike and I went and I just rode the whole trail that we're planning to go today, just to get a gauge for how long it would take to do it. Um, so I'll show you the route that we have in mind. This is the Greenbrier River here. We're doing the Greenbrier River Trail, which is this black line underneath running along the river. So we're starting right about right here, and then we're gonna follow this all the way up here. I think we should take a break at Seven Trees because that's pretty close to halfway. Um, there's a little bridge that we cross here. We'll keep going around. And the place we're trying to get is right up here, close to where it says store. We have to cross one more big bridge at the end there. Um, it's a so big... is this a town? Yes, that, there is a town there. Thank you. Don't bite me. has really found his rhythm I think this week with work and being ponied. He's just been so good and he's to the point I think where he understands now what I want when he's being ponied and so it's really easy to work with him. Hey don't you paw though I'm complimenting you. Tucker you seem sleepy today. Do you need a nap? Overall I would say Tucker seems much more relaxed here. I think having his own pen, that solid fencing helps. He seems just a lot more calmer. He's getting worked and ridden twice a day rather than just once a day or if at all. And so I think that's really helped him out. Like he hasn't had any problems at night like he had at the other place. Oh boy. Both the horses have done really good in their pens. So they have like tiny paddocks. I wouldn't know how big they are, maybe like 16 by 24. Usually, you know, they've always been kept in the pasture until now, but they have done really well with these. I've always made sure that they have hay. Um, they have like mental stimulation, like their slow feeder hay nets. I have like a Kong horse toy. Then we take them out and graze them. So they have both done really well and they actually seem very relaxed in these pens. And so it was a benefit, I think, especially for Tucker, because originally he was so nervous the first 
camping trip we went on. And so I'm very proud of them, especially Ruach. I mean, I can tell sometimes that Ruach has gotten bored, but he's handled it well. And I've done things to make sure he is getting engagement with his mind. Like we've been riding twice a day, which for him is a big change anyway, and a lot more work than he's used to. So I think that has helped like tire him out and things like that. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's a big truck coming. I may need you to take Ruach. Remember, turn to the road. Mm -hmm. Back up, back up. Good boy. Good boy. been an eventful ride already. Hi little cuties. <laughs> You're okay Rue. Good boy. Good boy. We are officially on the trail now. We got bikers coming up here. Well, it looks like they're getting off for us. Hey, stop it. How are y'all doing? Good, it's beautiful out. Yes, yes, the baby. Yeah, right on. Yes, you too. Good boys. Thank you. Good job, guys. All right, this bridge is definitely sketchy looking. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Come on, you're good. Okay. Don't know what that was about. Is this safe for horses? <laughs> Can it hold two horses? Look up. Don't hesitate. Go on, Tuck. You got it. Good boy. Oh my gosh, this is nerve wracking. <laughs> uh, good boys. You can't chase the boy. <laughs> uh. It looks like we're coming up on our halfway point, which is called Seven Trees. And we thought about stopping here, but the horses are very fresh this morning. So I think we should keep going and just burn their energy a little bit. Hungry, hungry in my tummy, hungry in my tummy, I just want to eat, that's why we're trotting, because I want to get there faster. The thing I'm most hungry for is vegetables, because uh, we didn't pack any. <laughs> so I have been craving my greens. All right, the sign here says one mile to cast. We got train, food, ice cream, sleeping and shopping. So we got a mile.
and I'm starting to smell like fire. And Colin said there was a controlled burn up here. So we must be getting close to the controlled burn. You know, I haven't been out west to like Montana and Wyoming and stuff like that, but it, what I've seen from pictures and the vibes and stuff, West Virginia is almost kind of like that. There's just a feeling of wilderness about it and it's beautiful. Like the, the forest almost kind of reminds me of Washington State where they're mossy and a lot of ferns. Oh gosh, that's a giant hole. Well, this is terrifying. Oh, dang it. Uh, Ruach, be careful. And good boys, good. There's a giant machine, okay. Everyone remain calm, including myself. They doing okay? hear that fire. Hey, hey. It's okay. It's okay. Good boy. Okay, that's terrifying. <laughs> There's hell. If they spook at this flag over that fire, I'm gonna laugh and cry. Relax your body, Carmela. Relax. Loose arms, loose legs, loose torso. Alright boys, these wooden bridges are freaky man and sometimes they're rotted in certain places. Good job guys. Welcome to Cass, West Virginia. Here's a caboose. So we're kind of like below the town. The town's up the hill to my left here. We got some tourists coming up. So why are you bringing water? He's a baby. He's only two. And, and so you're just getting him used to him. Yes, he's in training. We just rode probably like three miles from down there. Hey, hey. Hungry, hungry, hungry. We made it. All right, I'm gonna go back here, I guess. All right, boys. I'm gonna go get me some lunch and then we'll let y'all graze. There's the view across the river, the Cass Company store, and I guess the train station. There's a train that goes up the mountain. It's not running today, the woman told us, but just a tiny town. I'll go over here. Hello. Yeah. There you go. Rock being impatient. I want a tossed salad and French fries. Make sure you join us on our YouTube membership where we share more behind the scenes of our adventures and our rides as we travel across America with our horses. Mm -hmm.